Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in for this latest edition of the Chatham County Chat. I'm Sean Evans with the Chatham County Public Information Office. And with me today, I have the manager of the Chatham County Aquatic Center, Mary Ryan Amar. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me. Well, here in your beautiful facility uh, that you can see here behind us, first off, if you can, we want to detail for folks who might be new to the area or not know about the Aquatic Center, what exactly it is you do here. Well, we have two, we opened in 1996. And we have two pools. We have a lap pool, which is 50 meters. Um, and then we have a recreational pool, which is 25 yards. So the lap pool usually is for lap swimmers. It's kept at a little bit cooler temperature between 79 and 82 degrees. And the recreational pool is a little bit, it's only from two feet to five feet. It's a little bit warmer and we keep that between 87 and 89 degrees. Perfect. Love that water temperature. <laughs> yes. It's gotta be a little more comfortable for the swimmers. Uh, if you can talk about some of the water safety tips that folks should know before they come here, uh, for example, swimming in supervised areas uh, with permission or the reach and throw don't go. I wasn't familiar with that term. Can you explain to our viewers sure. what that is? So water safety is just, it's you want to be safe in, 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 and, in and around the water. Yeah. So when your child is swimming, whether they're at the pool or the lake or the ocean or the river, you want to be have your eyes on them at all times. So we the first thing we teach our students is they need to learn to ask permission before they go in the water. So asking permission, when a parent comes into the lessons, the child will walk up to the parent and say, Mom, can I, Dad, can I go in the water? And they say yes. And then that is their cue to put down their book, put down their phone, keep their attention on their child because, um, you know, a second set of eyes is always helpful in any in any aquatic environment. Oh, so, absolutely. Yeah. Not just here at the pool, out at the beach or Absolutely. At a lake. Even in the bathtub. Even you know, bathtub. you've got to make sure that, you know, if the, um, you know, Drowning is the leading cause of accidental death in children under the age of 14 in this country. So we try really hard. Not only do we teach kids how to swim, we also want to promote safe behavior in and around the water as well. Really drive home those safety tips so it's yes. always locked in. Yes. Uh, May is a very busy month for you all here. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of events coming up. May is also National Water Safety Month. If you can talk about some of the free events that you have here going on to uh, recognize that. Right, so May is always National um, Water Safety Month and uh, we have an event called Make a Splash mm -hmm. for children ages 6 to 12 and we um, com our community partners come in and help so we have a kayaking station, we have a life jacket station, we have a, um, a, a snorkeling station, we have a pool game station, we also have a big water slide uh -huh. so we want to um, introduce um, these aspects of water to, to the kids um, and to get them excited and get ready for the summer. Absolutely. Well, on those partnerships, there's also one with Safe Kids Savannah. What all does that entail? Um, Safe Kids Savannah is a uh, nonprofit group um, that runs Adam Memorial Hospital. Mm -hmm. um, they, uh, Safe Kids promotes and tries to prevent accidental children's injuries, whether it's bicycle safety, pedestrian safety, water safety. Um, car seat checks, they do all kinds of things like that. So, and the Aquatic Center partners with them in the water safety aspect. So um, we have, um, they are partners with us in that Make a Splash event. They also help us with the uh, Gage Oshner Kids Fishing event that happens in September out at Tybee Pier. Oh, nice. Um, they also partner with us um, as, um, there's a another, another program called Kids Don't Float, mm -hmm. which is a national, um, life jacket loaner board program that's based out of Alaska that has, so all the Chatham County boat ramps in Chatham County have a life jacket loaner board. And the premise is when you get to the, to the boat landing and you're putting your boat in, you don't have a lot, enough life jackets for your, from your, for your people in the boat. You can borrow one from the boat, from the life jacket loaner board and then return it when you come back. Okay. So um, we also, um, and so they help us with the life jacket drives. They help us, um, um, we have volunteer groups that help build the boards, maintain the boards, and stock the boards um, so that we can, you know, obviously have, you know, safe um, behaviors in and around the, on, the, on the waterways in Savannah. Absolutely. A lot of boat ramps around the Unincorporated County. Yes, there County. are. Yes, there are. Very good. Uh, you also have a life jacket drive. Can we right. talk about that about? Yeah, so we're, um, so we're now getting the uh, boat ramps, uh, loaner boards up and operational again. Um, and our, our, our goal date is to get them operational by Memorial Day weekend, because that's a big, big boating that's holiday. A big boating holiday. <laughs> yes. And so we want to have them all kind of, um, some of them are in rough shape, so we're in the process now of kind of assessing and doing inventory, getting them ready to go for Memorial Day. So starting on May 1st, we're going to do a life jacket drive. 
So there are going to be drop boxes around Chatham County. There'll be one here at the Aquatic Center, one at I'm sure at Memorial Hospital. Mm -hmm. And we're also reaching out to some of the area marinas to also yes. house some um, drop boxes. So we're asking for gently used or new life jackets. They have to be Coast Guard approved, mm -hmm. um, you know, not the water wings. They have to be, you know, the, the real deal. Yeah. And so we're then use those life jackets to then stock the boards with so that we can keep the uh, waterways safe this summer. Outstanding. Well, what other events can folks expect coming to the Aquatic Center? Other ones that, you know, we've discussed or haven't, for example, a free swim or exercise classes, which have been going on here behind us. Right. So we have a very vibrant uh, water aerobics program here at the Aquatic Center. We offer classes in the mornings, um, Monday through Friday, and we offer um, a Saturday morning class, usually two to three times a month. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also offer evening classes um, three nights a week. Okay. So we have um, shallow water classes, we have deep water classes, we have aqua yoga classes, hmm. we have arthritis classes, which just really work on range of motion, um, core, you know, building your core strength, those kind of things. But also, and they're for any level of, of individual, whether they're just starting out with an exercise program mm -hmm. or there are an elite athlete that's maybe rehabbing that wants to do some deep water running. Um, so we have, those are our water aerobics programs. We also have a very, um, uh, a big swim, a learn to swim program here at the Aquatic Center. Mm -hmm. We offer classes for babies six months starting out. Mm -hmm. So we have star babies, star tots. We have a super tot class, which is a little bit more advanced level, which is a parent and child or adult and child program. Mm -hmm. um, we also offer group lessons that start at three years old and we go all the way up to, I think our oldest person in our program right now is 82 or 83. Outstanding. So we have group lessons and private lessons. We also offer um, stroke level classes. We also have a developmental swim team in here um, that will, um, it's basically where they, once they learn all the strokes, then they kind of incorporate it more into a, um, a, a, sw a, a learn to swim swim team kind of thing. So and we good. also have three USA uh, sanctioned swim clubs that swim out of here. Wow. We also have a master's program that swims every morning. Um, so a lot of the adults before they go to work come in and get their workout in, then they go to work. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, are, we stay really, really busy here at the Aquatic Center. We open at 6 a.m. Monday through Friday and close at 8 p.m. Monday through Friday. Good. And then Saturdays we're open from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Sundays we're closed. Oh, well, you have to have a day to <laughs> recharge the batteries Exactly, for sure. yes. Uh, what a fantastic resource. And for folks who don't know or haven't done the uh, water exercises, it is a full body workout. It is, it is really good. <laughs> uh, what other details should folks know about the center regarding membership? You touched on hours there, uh, important dates for swimmers. So we um, have a uh, daily rate that's based on age. Um, don't have to be a resident of Chatham County. Anybody can come in and use it. Um, so there's a daily rate. It's a, um, and then we also have a, a prepaid uh, punch card, which is for you buy 10 or 20 swims. Mm -hmm. So it gives you a little bit of discount from there, uh, from just from the daily admission. And then um, for those who are really committed, then there's a monthly membership. Mm -hmm. And then for those who are really, really committed, there's an annual membership. And wow. it's based on age and then number of people in your family. Okay, very good. Best way to get information about the Aquatic Center, is that on the website, phone number, Facebook, what, what would be the best we, way? Um, we are in, in the process of trying to upgrade our, um, our social uh, media um, image. Mm -hmm. So we uh, put things out on Facebook, like in, incidentals, like if we're closing for an event or if we are having a, an issue here at the Aquatic Center, we immediately put that out on Facebook. We also update our website okay. for those things. You can find those on the homepage. Um, but we also have, um, you know, our programming, all of our registration for all our programs is on our, on our website. And our website is aquatic.chathamcounty.org, where you can find out all the information that you need, pool hours, um, rates, you know, know before you go kind of tips, those kind of things. Very good. Yep. Mary Ryan, anything else you'd like to touch on that we didn't hit today? Uh, I just think that this is a great facility and I'm so glad y'all are here. Um, and we're really looking forward to a really fun summer. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us for this latest edition of the Chatham County Chat. I'm Sean Evans with the Chatham County Public Information Office. We'll see you next time.